All right, welcome back to another episode of my RPG tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working out magic. So let's go ahead. Get our play canvas. Gonna tie our button, then our log out button. Let's anchor it to the bottom of the screen. Say 50 up. Let's go right click UI. Panel, turn the middle of the screen, let's go 500 by 250, add component, vertical layout group, All right, I'm going to take off height and we're just going to put on width here. And call this world list content. Uh, duplicate that. Go to the vertical layout group. Make it a child. Make the high 50 world list tree fab go object UI go object UI looking for a button this seems to only give me text mesh pro legacy Button. Oh yeah, by the way, I just have a date of my Unity version to G2022 and I had to go edit project settings, other, and allow in development builds. Just a heads up. UI text. Close world one. World. Fifty forty five one twenty five minus one seventy five minus one eighty minus twenty five. Yep, yeah, sounds good.
I got play cameras. Let's go UI legacy text. Just call it a what? Okay, ID. World ID. Control D to duplicate that. So players. Join button. You are legacy text. Why? Bold. Seven point five minus fifteen. So two thousand. Um, players text. Assets, graphic traits, C sharp script, world item prefab. Let's show you on there. Let's open it. Photon.pun. We're going to go public. We'll have to go using photon.realtime. Public room info. Info. Public int. Play account. Int updated play account public text play account using Unity Engine dot UI. Public void configure room info my room info and 
Zero equals my room info. My text room ID. The room ID dot text equals info dot name we'll go play account equals info dot play account. An update a play account equals play account minus equals one minus one minus equals one right supposed to be lowercase p Play account equals update play account dot to string dot text play account dot text. Because I don't play count of two string. All right, gorgeous. And come back to Unity. <coughs> well, this prefab. Just come back here. Play count of text equals. Say play count. Plus plus two thousand get rid of that, get rid of some column. Just got the play account. The ID Oh Right We go public boy join join world We go photon network dot join room info dot name it comes down here with we'll the plus try the world's prefab onto it, get world out of prefab, join world. Alright, so we can go ahead and grab prefab and we'll drag into our assets folder. Then we'll have to delete that. Alright. Onto our menu script. All right, let's go ahead.
the star function, let's go photon dot network dot connect using settings. For this we're gonna need to go using photon dot pun using photon dot real time. So photon dot connect using settings. And then we're gonna go public override void Master Right, so we're gonna have to go and make this Photon dot money behavior. Oh, so that's not photon. It's money behavior. Um, callbacks. Go ahead, so I'm going to the master. Debug dot log. Connected to master Python network dot join lobby. We'll go public override void on joined lobby. Lobby So this create room, create world situation is not going to be available for all players. It's going to be just designed for well, the owner of the game. So let's go ahead and make that public void create world. Public input field create world IF let's go is string dot is null or empty create world IF dot text return Room options, room options, because new room options, then room options, so max players equals 2000.
Or I'm not sure what the limit is, so let's. Let's just make it 250. Change this to 252. Put on. Network dot create room create world if dot text room options QI state equals three. Incomplete override void on join room. Photon network dot load level world. Alrighty. I'm going to go public. Public override void owner list update and go room list and go for each. Actually, we need to go public transform world list content. We'll go for each transform trans in the world list content destroy trans object we'll go for then double tap tab. We'll go list count okay, room list I roof list continue. Go instantiate world item prefab. Public object world item prefab. Instantiate. World item prefab. Well, this content. 
tech component. World out of prefab. So configure list. I oh righty. Come back here, share that camera, let's go UI, panel, send it to the side, maybe 300 by 300, drag it back in, 250 by 250, minus 150, Let's add in panel. You want your UI legacy UI legacy input field. Button. Create world. Make a bold. Button or onion trade world onion in the field. I mean, I don't the text. Drag a script on the bus. Drag a script on. Create world. Let's control scripts. Sign the admin input field. The world list content. The world list prefab. Uh, so simply we'll make we'll make an individual build for an admin that it has the admin panel on it and that's how that works all right so let's come back into our world scene let's go add component
Photon view. Agabon photon transform view. In our movement script, let's go using photon pun. And let's go with photon view dot is with get component photon view dot is my Say that. Now I've got the data too. And the update function go if get component photon view. Is mine using photon dot pun photon view photon dot pub that sounds like a good place to have a beer photon view dot is mine and I'll delete that. So assets, you'll right click create folder, call it resources, make a duplicate of our player, remove everything from it, we just want the end game object. Go to the camera, call this player spawn, and we'll get this, we drag it into our resources folder, we'll go to game object camera, so 25 by 25, Turn up. Let's go. Game object empty. Zero. Zero. Pulse. Manager Replicate C sharp script Try that again Right click create C sharp script Manager Drag the manager in using photon dot pun.
and we'll go in the star function photon network dot instantiate new variable public string player prefab name public transform players spawn instantiate player prefab name player spawn dot position quaternion dot identity Alrighty. Search score player. Drag and player spawn. Come back to the menu, play canvas. And everything should be pretty much where we want it. Let's go file, build settings, build. Desktop, new folder, RPG, testing, select folder, And then our play folder will Alright, so let's go ahead and click play Log in ZZMA.com Do and do and do Continue Login C at gmail.com Password Alright, so We're gonna go world 1, create world And we Oh, we're getting one important bit of code which is in the manager script I'm going to go if photon no, no exclamation mark if photon network dot is mouse client Now let's just go ahead and control the world scene. I'm sure you can just turn off the camera. Alright, come back to the menu. And then panel on. I'm going to file build settings build. So folder RPG testing. 
AJ. Login C at gmail.com and password create world goes world one looks like we've got an error. Zinjana.com Not connected. You connected, so it just didn't load into the scene. I was going to click join and we're in. I'll just Let's go file, build settings, player settings, resolution presentation, let's go windowed. Let's build this again. Let's copy and paste this. Some other screens you can't see it. Okay, so we've got the admin panel over here, so let's go ahead and click play. We'll get some clients happening. Alright. Go ahead and click play. Login C at gmail.com. Login World 1. Create World. So now the world is created. Let's go ahead and go login C at gmail.com. Continue. So we got. The world and you can join it. Get rich from your account. Let's go x at gmail.com. Signs in. Alright, uh, so it appears to be glitching a little bit with the way we move our character. But apart from that, we've got, we've been, we we're able to join the room at least. Alright, this should be an easy fix actually, so we'll do this now. All we have to do is come to resources, drag our player in, and turn our main camera off. We'll go ahead and add component. We'll go Just call this networking, make it a new script, create and add it, open it up, using photon.pun, using photon.pun, 
Oh, Game reject. Camera. Start. If photon. If get component. Photon view. Dot is mine. In camera. Dot set active. True. Camera. So there, come back. Assign the camera. Apply the prefab. Now we can delete that. Let's come in here, let's take off the admin panel. Let's go file, build settings, build. And we'll make a new build. And it's here, so I'll duplicate. So duplicate this, close this. Come in here, turn the ambient panel back on. Click play. Got one instance. Got another instance. Let's go log in. See uh, gmail.com. Zero and zero two. World one. Create a world. That's created the world. Right, let's go log in. See gmail dot com. See so we got the world. Enjoying that. And now our walking is fixed. So log in x at gmail dot com. Log in, we've got one player out of 250. You can join. And now we're in here with a networked character. And everything appears to be working just fine. Alright, gorgeous guys, sorry for the long episode, but there we go. We're getting some more progress done, some more solid gains. And it is good. Alright, beautiful. See you guys, bye.